30 seconds already and you don't see her. You're going to become yeah, impatient. 40 seconds, you don't see yes. her. 50 seconds, you don't see her. What are you going to do? Start searching. Start searching. I don't think it depends on the depth. I think it depends on understanding what danger means in snorkeling or freediving. And yeah, assessing a situation and uh, making decisions that, that make sense. If you go snorkeling with your wife, always be mindful about the system of one up, one down. If you go diving with another person, so you're with two people, when yeah, okay, one, one goes one down, down, the other yes. stays up. One up, one yeah, down. Yeah, yeah. Because if both of you go down, you might both get in trouble, you know? Yeah. Something you know. So if you go down and your wife is at the surface, she will be looking at you. So we call this a, a surface safety. So she doesn't necessarily have to go down to, to safety you if everything is fine, if you are perfectly comfortable, then she doesn't need to go down if it's only like a five, six, seven meters uh, dive, depending on how comfortable you are. So we call this a safe um, a surface safety. So when she is on the uh, surface with the mask on, breathing through the snorkel, and she's looking at you, that is a surface safety. Now she needs some experience to read your body language. So as a beginner, she cannot read your body language but if, if you both are more experienced then you will see if you're comfortable or not so me as an instructor I can see when someone is comfortable and then I don't go down because the person is totally fine but when I see certain signs like like uh, jerky movements or suddenly the technique becomes um, uh, worse or they're starting to fin faster all of these are signs of a little bit of anxiety. There are signs of, um, hey, I'm not feeling comfortable anymore. And that doesn't mean that you're in a critical situation yet. It means that the diver is just not comfortable yet. So then I go down. You need to learn how to read the body language of the person you're diving with. Sometimes she um, she dives down without uh, letting me know, you know, and I just look around, can't, can't see her, and and um, I just wanted to take into consideration how safe it is, you know, to to do shallow dives. Yeah. So so there is there is the safety of the um, the safety aspect of the diver. But you also, the diver also has to take in consideration the mental uh, tranquility of uh, of the body. So I'm going to explain myself. So if your wife goes, uh, she starts diving down without telling you, and you're you're on the surface, and you're like, hey, hey, where is she? Then you can get into a state of panic, right? You're looking for her, like for for 30 seconds already, and you don't see her. You're going to become yeah, impatient. 40 seconds, you don't see yes. her. 50 seconds, you don't see her. What are you going to do? Start searching. Start searching. But she might be totally fine a little bit further away while you mm -hmm. go down to search her and you will keep on searching and you will bring yourself into danger because you will be diving alone and you will be staying longer underwater because you think that she blacked out. The one who's going to black out will be you. Guys, if you want to be part of the live streams like you saw in this video, then please go to join.gertleroy.com and become a member of my channel. You can become a member as a freediver, an advanced freediver or a master freediver. And depending on the level you choose, you will get different perks but all of them will have access to the live streams back to the video so you have to take care of each other so a diver always has to communicate with the other diver so if your wife goes down she, ha she has to show you she's going down right you have to know she's going down and you have to see her from the start because if she goes down and you only like 10 or 15 seconds later start looking it can be difficult to spot her so you always have to keep an eye on each other and and tell each other what you're gonna do there is nothing worse than being a safety diver looking for someone and not knowing what happened you know this this can be a really a stressful situation and eventually you can put yourself into danger